hello guys in this tutorial we are going to create a realistic bed in blender which is very easy to make and if you are absolute beginner you are at the right place in this video i am also going to show you how to optimize 3d models so that you can render faster so let's start with our default cube so press 1 to go to front view mode and let's make it look like our bed frame so scale down in the z axis bring it down yeah something like that and let's kill it on the y axis s y yeah and also on the x axis yeah looks correct so let's go to edit mode let's add a loop cut something around here i guess yeah face select mode and extrude on the z axis maybe a little bit down yeah looks perfect so let's add in a bevel modifier because it's looking very sharp i guess so set the segments to 2 yeah nice let's add our mattress so add mesh cube and let's resize and position it as z yeah and 7 for top view s x and s y again go to top view mode wireframe mode and scale it down a bit yeah looks perfect so to make a mattress look like a real mattress we need a lot of geometry but don't worry i will at the end of this video i will show you how to optimize that so subdivide uh, i think 25 times looks 25 times maybe right so go to modifiers add in a subdivision surface and go to cloth physics tab under cloth first of all let's turn off the annoying things so set the gravity to 0 and take this pressure and set the pressure to 5 and bring our timeline here and just hit play and it will start simulating cloth or cushion i guess so let's pick the right frame for our cushion and i think this one is right so I will go with this one. So go to modifiers and apply all of them. Yeah. And let's shade it smooth. Yeah, now it's gonna be perfect. Let's add our cushions. So press shift, hold down shift and right click to bring our 3D cursor here. Add mesh cube and just scale down a bit and make it much thinner because while simulating cloth it inflates more than expected and let's scale it up a bit maybe scale down yeah now go to edit mode and also subdivide it also subdivide this to i guess 25 yeah 25 looks great now go to object mode select our cube and and subsurf modifier go to fix tab cloth and same for thing and same thing for our cushion and let's simulate oh i forgot to <laughs> add the pressure add in pressure of 5 and let's simulate it's looking great so i'll go with that so go to modifier and apply both of these and let's shade it smooth yeah now it's looking like a cushion and let's scale it on the y-axis yeah little bit fluffy right and let's 
rotate that on the x axis and in the side view mode yeah looks perfect so shift D to duplicate on the x axis yeah I guess it should scaled up on the z axis also shift D duplicate on the x axis yeah fine so let's turn to top view mode and place sort of cursor here and add you know plane and move it up and make it a lot bigger yeah making a bed sheet is a lot complex and requires a much higher subdivisions so set that to 100 and let's go to plot tab first add in a collision modifier i mean collision physics <laughs> and bump up the friction all the way up and same for this also no need to play with the physics so with our bit it selected add in a cloth physics and go to field weights make sure that gravity is turned on and just simulate that as you can see it's acting like an bit sheet yeah but we need a lot more realism so go to edit mode and go to edge select mode and press alt left click oh sorry and press alt left click to select the whole edge loop and go to side view and press e to extrude and let's extrude it a bit yeah something like that and and if you are going to simulate our bed sheet you will see that it will look like it is it has been ironed and it doesn't create much more realism so what i'm gonna do is bring this bed sheet up and just rotate on the y axis a bit and now as you can see it is creating wrinkles just like natural bed sheet so yeah i think it's looking pretty cool so let's simulate a bit forward so that the whole bed sheet will rest and i think this frame looks good yeah so i'm going with that go to modifiers and apply this one and add in a subdivision surface for more cleaner look and yeah just apply that so as you can see we can see the overlapped bedsheet i guess so go to modifiers and add in a solidify modifier and for me a value of 0 0.03 works best but you should experiment yourself or 0 0.02 or 0 0.025 yeah and shift at smooth yeah our bed is complete now it's time for some textures the materials i'm using are from pixel mega scan you just have to create an epic games account and use the whole library for free by the way i'm using their software called quicksil bridge which is way more convenient than the web browser one you can just import right into blender so let's add in some materials so i am using this blue cloth and this furniture fabric and this white furniture fabric links of all the materials are in the link in the description so i hope you had downloaded the material so let's go to shading tab and with our bedsheet selected go to materials and add in our blue cloth material 
and now go to edit mode press A to select all first oh first let's apply our solidify modifier and now go to edit mode A to select all now UV smart UV project and it will evenly distribute our material on our bed sheet so let's select our bed frame and add in a funny gray furniture fabric and go to edit mode a to select all uv smart e project yeah and let's select our mattress and add in our white furniture fabric material and go to edit a to select all uv smart e project and let's select our cushions add in the same gray material and hit this number thing to make it a single user only and what i'm gonna do is go to shading tab and let's zoom in a bit and just unplug this base color increase the normal map strength and just make the base color a bit more lighter than our bed frame just a little bit and yeah same for this one yeah now it's looking pretty cool so now let's select our bed sheet and Select any one of the texture and if you have the node triangular turned on you just have to press ctrl T to bring the texture coordinates and then just plug in the vector to all the plug in the vector to all the textures yeah so let's make it more tiny to and two yeah looks correct so let's add in a plane but first as you can remember i have told you that i'm going to optimize this bed because as you can see it has lot of geometry so with or which it selected go to modifier and add in a decimate modifier what it does it just unsubdivides our mesh <laughs> so set the ratio to 0.5 and as you can see it has decreased the number of vertices so let's go to a smaller number 0.2 as you can see it has made no difference almost yeah almost no difference I guess point one should make no difference also yeah so let's apply that and let's select our cushion and I'm going to repeat the same process for these two cushions yeah now it's time for some lighting so add in a mesh plane scale it all the way up now let's place our camera somewhere around here Con press ctrl alt 0 to place our camera go to camera and shift on the X So select our backdrop and add in a bevel modifier so that it will look seamless. Add in a bunch of segments and just say that it's smooth. And go to materials, add in a new material. And set our material to a bit creamy looking. Let's change our render to cycles. Select our light and let's move it far away 
it's increased strength to something around 50,000 or 10,000 yeah and increase its radius to 5 let's go to render settings denoising take both of these and start samples to 10 yeah looks perfect for now and let's improve our lighting a little bit go to solid view and let's shift it to duplicate on the x axis and let's turn off this light for now go to render view with this light selected let's decrease its chain to 100 and radius to 1 let's increase power to 200 or 150 and let's bring for back light yeah it's looking super cool let's change the color of our backdrop let's decrease its saturation and make it a little bit darker and for the final result let's go to render settings under color management just make the look to high contrast or medium high contrast yeah now play with the render settings and then just render it and that's it guys we have created a modern bed in render within few minutes if you like this video hit that like button and consider subscribing have a nice day